Hello! In this video, I'm going to be showing you a really cool shiny trick to get tons of shiny Pokemon. This can apply to anyone if they're in the early game or late game. So, so let's go ahead and get right into this video. Okay, so step one is open your map and select any mass outbreak area you can find. On my map, I have one over here. I have not seen this Pokemon and you can tell this is a new game because if I finish the Pokedex, that would no longer be a question mark but the Pokemon. But I'm going to pick this one and I'll see you right when I'm at that mass outbreak. Oh, and before you do this, make sure you have a Pokemon with a false swipe. This is really important, and if you need to know where to get the False Swipe TM, all you have to do is go ahead and catch 30 species of Pokemon, and Jacques should give it to you in the biology lab inside of the school. There we go, I made one. Now that you're out this mass outbreak, what you want to do is start KOing Pokemon, like a normal mass outbreak. Thirty. So I've knocked out 30 Pokemon, increasing my chances to 1 out of 2,048. I'm going to knock out another 30 more, putting me in 60 total knocked out. And that's going to give me a total shiny chance of 1 out of 1,365. Let me knock out 30 more. Okay, now that I've unlocked my 1,365 chance with no shiny charm or no level 3 shiny boosting from sandwiches, all I have to do is do something very simple. You're going to do something called Picnic Resets. So at this point, you can go ahead and just save where you are in the outbreak. That way you're good to go and you just from this point onwards open up your picnic. What that's going to do is you're going to pop it open. And when you open up your picnic, as you just saw all around me, every single one of those Pokemon despawn. When you get out of your picnic, all those Pokemon are going to respawn again. They're all coming back. So as soon as you're done picnicking, you can get new spawns. And think about it like this. Instead of having a 1-1-1 one, one, one chance every time you knock out something, now all those like 20 Drift Blooms in the background all spawning in, giving me a higher chance of a shiny spawning. So... I'm going to do this a few more times, and we're going to see if I'm going to get that shiny or not in the early game. After about 15 times on my picnic, I finally got this to spawn in my game. So we're just going to go ahead, save the game manually, because it's on my map, and I don't want it disappearing. And that's it. Got it. So the picnic reset does this. Hey, let's run into this Pokemon. Shiny! Let's go! Let's do a Dusk Ball. Can we get you with a Dusk Ball? Oh! 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 Let's go! One time! Also, since we caught that Pokemon, you should definitely hit that subscribe button to see more guides like this. I love putting these videos out for you, so please subscribe. This is so awesome. I literally have no Shiny Charm in this game. I'm using no Shiny Boost. This is a completely new copy of the game. Wow! If you have the shiny charm and knocked out 60 Pokemon in a mass outbreak, your shiny odds are going to be 1 out of 819. And when you do the picnic reset, you're resetting all of these Pokemon. If you're doing this with just the shiny boosted sandwich, your odds are going to be 1 out of 683. If you have both the shiny charm and the sandwich, your odds are going to be 1 out of 512 for shiny to happen. But as you see, I did this early game with nothing, and it's that simple. So all you have to do, open up your map, Select the Mass Outbreak, knock out 60 Pokemon. If your shiny Pokemon did not spawn by the time you're doing that, go ahead and start doing Picnic Resets, and it should be a joke. If you want to check out this other video on all the methods to shiny hunt, click on that one.